Hello everybody, my name is Richard Quick, and welcome back to another video. So just a quick note, I you'll notice it's not Thursday, it's Friday. Deal with it. It's just easier for me, and I don't know why I didn't think of it before. But, moving on to uh, the video, um, you're going to see why I don't like vapor, not realistically, and why I uh, callous the pain in my butt. And also, my map, I finished my map, but I am making an outline of uh, what needs to be done. Because I don't really, because you can't tell the difference between spruce trees, birch trees, and oak trees on a map. So what I'm doing is I'm making a physical cobblestone seamless outline that, uh, that'll help show my biome on the map. So I have to, I have to pick up a map that I left off on. I have to fly over it, make a little cobblestone little path, and make an entire circle around my biome so I can finally see it, which is what I was doing when Cal decided to say hi to me. Hello. Hi. You just randomly found me? I followed the pathway. It wasn't hard to follow. Oh, I mean, I need it to be a color that is very different so that when I see it on the map, I just see a gray line. Yeah, fair. But, yeah. But yeah, it, this is absolutely ridiculously huge. Oh, my biome as a whole? Yeah, that, that's why it's that's why it's so great. Uh, did you check out the map? I had to, like, move it a little bit. Like, I basically, like, so, like, it was supposed to be kind of like, let me see how I can do this. So kind of like, uh, this is how I had it. It was supposed to be where there are three. There is, uh, is what I did for eight. And then the one with two is supposed to be a five. But it's actually supposed to be like this. So I had to get rid of the bottom and then extend this. And then, and then when I had to put it on the top, I ended up having to move the bottom drag it out like a major carpet and then start bringing them down and then I had to bring the top three and then bring them down. It was really annoying to do all that. Well, anyways, you drop these. Oh, I mean, yeah, that was well in my demonstration. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I have, uh, if you, if you go to where my, uh, my place is, so I, um, I didn't think of, uh, I forgot what it's like. It's like just having a. Uh... I don't know what it's called. It's something linear. It's like when something's like a basically just like a um a free line of spaghetti basically, and instead I did like a filled um square uh, square unit instead of having it be the linear that I needed. So what ended up what I ended up doing is I have about ten double chests of just stacks of cobblestone and I think I only needed half of one Be oh. because what I basically did is instead of doing a one linear line that can freely move around my biome I got enough cobblestone to absolutely cover my biome And I, I didn't think of that when I was mathing it. I just, I made the square outline, so it's not even just the, um, it's it's the entirety map from corner to corner. If I just wanted to straight deck out a huge box <laughs> uh, on top of my biome, that would, uh, that would be the equivalent to it. So, that's painful. Okay, right, cool. So what are you up to? You're, you sound a lot better. Yeah, I feel a lot better. Well, I'm sure most people feel a lot better when they uh, when they've gotten better. I thought that was a wolf. You know what? I feel so good. I could do this. A carrot? I don't understand how I was able to hover over the carrot, reading the derrit, and still not being able to recognize that it was the derrit, not a carrot. <gasps> Dude, I was about to say. <laughs> Like, don't you dare eat that! I literally, I literally, <laughs> I was so close to, I was gonna say, I, I, was, I, I was hungry enough for a carrot, oh. I, I literally, oh. I, 
in the process of eating it, did I read Derrick two point? What happened to the first one? Did somebody eat it? Oh, that was last season. That was last season. <gasps> oh, I thought somebody ate the first one. Then I was gonna have to make a Derrick three point oh. No, no, 3. no. 0. The first, the first, the first, the technically that is Derrick three point oh. The, oh. That, the real two point oh got lost by me. <laughs> I almost, Creeper blew me up, and I couldn't get all my stuff in time. I almost just straight ate it. <laughs> yeah, I did that like back in ancient craft with like some poisonous potato thing. Ah, mm. uh. it just gave me a poisonous potato. I didn't get it because I didn't watch Hermitcraft, and just ate it right in front of him. <laughs> I mean, at least I got that good reaction time. I guess I read Derrick two point oh. Oh no. So, um, yeah. I'm afraid what this means. Well, that depends on you. I what, thought... what do you want to do? Oh, um. Oh no, I'm in such shock. Um. I know I was going to pick dare. Is there more than one dare option? Yeah, easy or hard. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a like hard Like, basically, one. do you want one point or three points? Listen, oh, you're going for a hard dare. Listen, I I make my life harder no matter whether it was easy or not. I'd still make it harder for myself. So putting hard on hard. Is that something they were expecting? Oh, I just. <laughs> Either you already have I, I something got, in I mind. Got I got to think of a dare. Like, I got to think of a dare. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't think this through that well. Okay, that's fine. I'll hold on to it. I'm going to be doing this. So um, you have mm -hmm. you have a long time. You can visit crafty things. Okay, thing. I think I think I have an idea. Already, just an idea. I mean, I can let you at least think yeah, about it. Yeah, just off the top of my head. Just off the top of my head, I thought of an idea. All right. So when you're when you've absolutely made a decision, you can let me know and. Uh, okay, I'm I'm letting you know. Uh, like like as your final like, decision I, or. Yeah, I, I want I want to see you do this. <laughs> I hope it's not play the game correctly. No, but it doesn't log your controls. Oh, no. Now, you said you like making life harder, right? Oh, no. So, it's a simple, it's a simple you know, thing of altering some controls. I dare you to make your forward key your backward key, your backward key your forward key, and then switch your left and rights as well. Okay, my... So, so your, my, w, my... your W and S swap those, your A and D swap those. Oh. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> and no. I dare you to do this for, I'm going to go a little bit easier and just say a week. I have a video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the only thing I got basically is moving forward. So I'm gonna be doing just moving forward basically. The only thing Did that you could... also swap your left and right. Yes. So oh geez, it's awful. But as long as I only hit, as long as I only hold S, it's fine because my my mouse isn't inverted. Yeah. Well, if I swapped your mouse, that'd be playing the game correctly. So I told you I wasn't going to do that. No, I I'm talking about how, like, when I move my mouse left and when I move my mouse right, when I move my oh, mouse yeah. up, when I move I my mouse I down. I can't control that. Actually, can you? I think you can. I think you can. Let me check my controls. Mouse settings. Invert mouse. Oh, that's possible? The sensitivity. Oh no! The, the, the Oh, I should have done that too. Ah! But I'm not. I I already said. I already said I'm not gonna do that. So you know what? Wait, my. Uh, so when you invert the the mouse, your left and right is still the same. Yes, it's it, it's just the up and down that's equally as disorienting, if not a little more so. Do Do you want me to do both? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, sure. <laughs> For a whole week. Oh, no. For a whole week. Good luck with that video. <laughs> <laughs> so today, today is. Today's the 23rd. Friday. Oh my goodness.
Yes. Yeah, so, so the thirtieth on the thirtieth, you can stop. Well, at least we already slayed the dragon. I would just. <laughs> well, technically, after the thirtieth, you can stop. After. Uh... Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna be painful. All right. Oh shit. Like. Like, I bet, I bet you wish I would have stayed with my first option and gone with Vapor while he was still on. Mm. Oh, no, Vapor. I hate, I'm gonna I'm going to text Vapor right now. I'm going to tell him how much I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is my best Derek challenge ever. <laughs> and again, only Derek two people. <laughs> I hate this. Yeah, my other dare, like my other dare, I, I dared Rover to do an episode in American accent. I'm gonna ask everyone to sleep like every night now. <laughs> I feel like a noob. <laughs> and then you know what's gonna be worse? After a week, when I finally get used to it, I have to change it back. <laughs> <laughs> it becomes like a double-edged sword. <laughs> Oh my god, like, I, I didn't expect it to be this bad, but I also didn't expect it to be this satisfying. I have to get that tree. There we go. Ugh. Yes. Well? Now this is definitely- uh, Good luck with your controls! Yeah, this is, this is different. I, I still, I, like, my controls are right, but my movement is wrong. Yeah, and just so you know, you can pass any time. You just get negative one point. No. No. Yeah, it's it's worth the three points. That is questionable, isn't it? For like fifteen. Isn't that isn't that like when somebody gets fifteen, they, someone wins? I should set to fifteen. Wait, what? What's the what's the winning score? Currently, it's a 30. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I can do 10 of these. <laughs> yeah, I probably should set to like 15 or something. Alright. I need to break my bed. Anyways, good luck with your good luck with your Derek challenge. Bye. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I definitely don't trust myself to fly, so I have to uh, walk home. So, and also this will help me review the controls that I currently have, and I'll be able to focus mainly on mouse movement and. Um, Trying to go through a lot of this is just going to be practice throughout this week, so this isn't going to be the most entertaining video, and I kind of understood that, which is why I pointed out that I have a video to do because this is on the 23rd, which was the first day that I, I start recording for for a week, so it was on um, it's on Friday. Pain. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to lose a Derret, so what I did is I took one of my spare shulker boxes at the bottom, and I put the Derret in it to make sure it's safe, and I put it back in the inner chest so that even if I die, it'll be safe in my inner chest, and nobody else can get it, so it's safe from absolutely anything. I wanted to practice on my movement, and uh, like the basic movement, so normally, even throughout the entire week, I never really use A and D. Um, you can see me attempt it later when I'm trying to do farming. But this pathway was actually built by Vapor, and um, so I just kind of want to point that out. And the bridge you can kind of see there on the on the way was built by Cal and Vapor. And um, I wanted to use their this terrain to come up and down, so I have to like keep my mouse steady, because uh, instead of looking like trying to move the mouse up to look up the stairs, I have to like go down to look up the stairs. So it's pretty annoying. And then this is like a one tight gap, so this is also like specific, and I don't want to fall off, so I have to be careful with this. But uh, I just kind of went up and down these uh, stairs to help me uh, try and go through, because when you're looking up stairs and trying to go up them, your mouse kind of 
I mean, it, it's hard to readjust everything, so I kept going up and jumping off and going down, and I just was doing terrain practice, and that's pretty much what most of this was. Not long after, I decided to go to the nether because I'm trying to practice not only- because now I have a decent way of moving my mouse now. I wanted to try and practice how to fight, which is movement, using a button, as well as controlling the mouse. It's a little bit of multitasking, and those are the first mobs I killed. Because I haven't really practiced backing up, usually I'll wait for mobs to come with me and I'll hit them with have the knockback, but I don't back up during a fight. I also don't feel that threatened by anything because I have the Thorns 3 armor, so I um, feel pretty safe. As safe as I feel in another, that doesn't stop me from being stupid. So I have four Hoglins, and I know that they're pretty beefy, usually if I don't get the first hit in. But um, at first they just kind of were ignoring me, which is kind of helpful for me if I'm trying to hurt them. I don't know what it is about me that they're trying to ignore, but... Um, Eventually they started attacking me like they're real. They're they're real beef in me. I'm guessing there's a, a one of those um, blue flowers around Yeah, I see it was those yeah, they're right there So they were ignoring me, but there's still more things to fight and this is probably because now I walked away from them and <laughs> I didn't notice it then um, This is probably the closest I came to dying from these guys Is because I don't know how to back up So I just kind of stay where I am and just kind of wait for the recharge and just swing Swing away, it's, it's how I fight now. Uh, these guys drop an intense amount of um, cooked pork chops because of my, my uh, fire aspect. So, these are, this is a very good source of food for me. So, I'll always be able to heal, which is really nice from doing this. And I remembered the danger of the nether upon killing the hoglin that's uh, attacking me in the background. I knocked him off down a ledge, and then I c carefully looked over and saw the lava. I may have netherite armor, but I think I have about like a minute and a half to get out of the lava. I have fallen lava before with netherite armor on different worlds, so I know I have an okay amount of time, but without a fire resistance potion, that could be very dangerous. I saw this lava pit. I know it's a lava pit, but then I have to remember my controls because I wanted to make sure it was lava pit, and I was like, all right. And then I misclicked. <laughs> I backed up trying because I turned around and then tried to back up. Uh, I, I got it wrong. <laughs> so I was in, and then there's some ground level, and there's actually some gravel there to help me uh, get up there. But I didn't know if it was enough because I can only see five pieces, so I thought I was stuck down this huge ledge, and I, I had no way of getting out. So After a little bit of digging into the gravel, I realized that there was an intense a lot more than what I thought there was. And since Vaver came to help, he gave me a potion <laughs> of fire resistance which is very helpful in case I fall into one where there's not a ledge of land right next to me. After all the practice fighting that I can do, if I ever need to repair my armor, I can always go to that special gold shop, which basically repairs things instantaneously. I have no idea who put these planks here, but I this is like one of the first times I tried using it for parkour. <laughs> That's what it looked like. It was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> Gas saw me, and I just had to try and get the return to sender. Boom. Look at that. Ah, oh, I got my favorite advancement with inverted controls. Now that, that's gotta be a real challenge. <laughs> you guys should try it. I know Endermen are really strong, but I just kind of wanted to see how it would go with not only inverted mouse controls, but how my armor can handle it. I fell in a hole, and uh, <laughs> it was very hard. So I had to get out of the hole and kill him. So it turns out, two hearts damage. Did pretty good. And as soon as I was walking away, I went down the little path, and then this is and then the second attempt. It went much better. With the uh, the wooden planks, I went down, and then I missed that last jump, and I fell across. So at least I feel like I'm getting much better at uh, move move jumping. So that's pretty cool. Oh, hello. Hello. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'm all right. Have you bought any more books? Tell me you bought more. I need I need diamonds. Give me diamonds. Thank you. Oh, I, I already bought everything. 
that I needed. Uh, uh, well, I don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> I hope you lose everything so you have to buy it again. <laughs> Let me go end busting again. <laughs> Sorry? Let me go end busting again. I fell in the void twice. Lost everything. <laughs> yeah, I saw you wandering around with gold armor. That was kind of... I'm assuming that's something to do with that. Uh, that was after I died the first time. Oh, we're down a little. You're... I mean, you've got your currently your, your better gear than me because I, I still haven't got netherite. So. Well, I'm I'm in here because I'm practicing how to control again. Right. Did you did you get your depth strider and frost walker that you wanted? By the way, I just wanted depth strider. You can't put them both on your boots. All right. Do you want me still to get that? Uh, the frost walk. Oh no, no depth strider because I I I I, don't sell I, it. I already oh. I, I don't know who it, I, I don't you're know the one who, that requested. I don't right? know who I got it from then, because that means I already have it. Oh, I don't know. There's also um soul speed. If you need soul speed, I've got a ton. Uh, actually, it was in one of my videos. I I thought that was the only one that you weren't gonna do because it was picklin trading, and I did about a, like 40 pieces of gold, and I ended up getting it. Yeah, it's pretty rare. It, on average, you need about 300 to yep, get soul speed. Yeah, 300. So, <clears throat> so yeah. But yeah, I have everything. So unless I die entirely, <laughs> I have lizard. Like, look at look at look at my boots. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I could I couldn't chase you because I, I I don't know the con my my controls that well enough. But yeah, they're they're really good. I think there's seven enchantments. Uh, yeah, you've got thorn. I don't want to put thorns on mine because yeah. But other than that, they've got depth strider, and that's okay. about all I'm missing. Right now, so I my, think I'd need to redo mine. my thorns is probably the only reason right now I'm not dead. Because I've been in here yeah, fighting enough. hoglins and uh, a bunch of the the piglins. So. Can, can you, wait, check my check my sword. Can you tell what I'm missing? Oh, uh, wait. Uh, let me... Uh, I, uh, one sec. Um, I, I, yeah, I can, compare it to, the... I can compare it to mine. Okay, I, I know I'm missing fire aspects, but I, I don't know other than that. That's the only one you're missing is fire aspect. Oh, you, okay. Cool. Yeah. Alright, so that's the only enchant I need. I don't sell... Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't have that, or Depth Strider. Like, I, I need to get those, and I'm gonna sell them, but I don't know, you know. Mm. That and Frost Walker, just in case people want it. Because... Mm. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, good luck. I'm gonna go check my store, see if Nintendo's finally bought his unbreaking. Yeah. And then, yeah. I've kind of gotten... Nice. I've kind of gotten used to moving around. The only thing I have trouble with is the, um... The AD. Moving left yeah, and right. I mean, if you if you want an elytra, I can get you one for like. I have an elytra. I'm not trusting myself to fly right now. <laughs> oh, gonna, I see. I'm gonna slam myself straight because my thing is my va my mouse is inverted. So when I look, yeah. when I'm oh right, you said yeah, and you've got like your controls backward. Yeah, so that, that I mean yeah. I I play some things backward, but my mouse I, is, I, yeah. I think I would cry with that. I'm gonna be honest, because like I play other games as well, and it would just throw me off. Yeah, it, I already told Cal like on the first day it already started throwing me off, and I was trying to move in like my mouse normally in Discord, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> I have, I'm, right, I'm, I'm playing I'm, with it. I'm playing with it right now. The, the okay, mouse. This is, yeah, both of them and the controls. Yeah, and then I, I'm fighting like piglins and hoglins, and uh, I'm going through hell. I have this for a week, so I can take it off next Friday. Fun. <laughs> right, well, good luck. I'm gonna go to my store like this and experience it. <laughs> Alright. I see the piglin. Boom. 180 <laughs> off, the, off Ooh. the ledge. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> that basically concludes the rest of uh, my nether training that I was doing. And from this point on, I'm starting to feel like I can do mm, semi-normal tasks. So right now I'm going to try farming because the way you move your mouse is a, mm, it's a little bit different. And because um, I usually move um, left and right, and this is the absolute control that I'm trying to avoid. As well as if I miss something, I have to actually back up. So this is actually using the three movement keys that I actually like refuse to use. So it's as if I have started the challenge again so you can see how like it's, it's, it's awkward and then I move the wrong direction and then I fix it so it's it's a real pain 
When it comes to this bigger just one, I try and do like this weird, weird like, I, I slide to the right and like get all the wheat, and then I slide to the left because I have to, the way I have to like micro adjust, trying to do that with this, it like, it looks very smooth, absolutely, normally, but like this doesn't look smooth at all, so hard, makes me look very noobish, and the motions I make. The farm I have produces an intense amount of seeds and even a uh, more intense amount of wheat. The absolute fact that I can make just a, a pure stack of just hay bales and then just have some bread left over is absolutely amazing. So <laughs> I, I think I'm definitely good on food and uh, I, I feel like one of these times, I said it a few before, I'm probably going to sell hay bales. They're pretty useful because you can use the hay bales to break down to wheat to make uh to breed animals and stuff like that as well as you being able to make it for a compost or if you want a bone meal or you can use it for breaking it down into the wheat and then turning it to bread which will also serve as food so eventually i'm probably going to try and sell this and we'll just see where it goes but however i think this is exactly where i'm going to wrap up this video for today so i'm um, going to save the rest of what i did for this challenge um for the next episode because uh, we kind of jumped into team week and i um, trying not to spoil our big plans because I could probably do that in a simple sentence knowing how big uh, my thought process is. I can't speak words that I want, but once I have something that I'm told to keep a secret, I know how to figure it out in like a sentence. So um, that's going to be pretty tricky. <laughs> so I'm not going to try and say I'm not going to say really much anything about team week or record anything on what I'm doing for team week until like, I don't know, something happens. I just know that uh, we're we're doing. I'm doing s something. I don't know particularly what I'm doing. I just know what the big plan is, and since that's the only thing I know, that's the only thing I'm not going to talk about. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, there's, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing for next week's video because it's a team week, and if I'm not recording anything on the team week, that's a week with that content. So I'll save over what I have left for the other video clips that I have and if there's any other little tasks because rubber said there's not supposed to be like a lot of side quests because it's supposed to be collaborative between everyone in the team week but that mm, that might not exactly be what's happening so um if there's anything like tiny on the side I'm pretty sure he wouldn't mind that but other than that thank you guys so much for watching and without further ado